So plot twist did not have load shedding. So I'm gonna do 3.2 now. Okay, so let's just jump in and see what we need to do here. So it says, two years ago, Franco had invested 90,000 Rand at an interest rate of 8,5% per annum compounded yearly. That's important. Compounded means we earn interest on interest. Okay. So it says verify with calculations whether this total amount with interest is enough to pay for the private pilot's license. So we found out from our previous video, right? This is how much it costs for the private um, pilot license. So let's just do a little calc, right? on how much he is actually going to have saved up at the end of the two years, okay? So just a point here around interest, right? Remember, the reason we earn interest when we give money to a bank or when we invest it is because we're giving someone else the right to use our money, and we can't use that money. But to repay us for using the money, they have to pay us interest, okay? That's the whole concept of interest, really important, okay? So it's great when you're the one who's earning interest, not so nice when you're the one paying interest, okay? And remember, compounded yearly means, the compounded means that as time goes on, we earn interest on interest. So what I'm going to do is there is a formula you can use for compounded interest, and I'll show you that, but I'll also show you another way that you can go about calculating this because I, I want to give you options, okay? So remember to always write the correct question reference. Okay, so we have, he has 90,000 Rand, okay, and his interest rate, I always do this little I like that, that's how we got taught to do it at university when I studied financial math, okay, um, so it's, it's per annum compounded annually, okay, perfect, okay, so let's figure out, so it said that he, two years ago, Right, so let's see how much interest he's going to earn over this period. So I'm going to say year one, right? And then we're going to do year two down here. So in year one, he had 90,000, right? And then, right, he earned 8% times by that 90,000, right? That's what he's going to have at the end of the first year. Let me just quickly find my um, calculator. I put it away because I wasn't expecting to do more questions this evening, but let's jump in there. Okay, so we have 90,000 plus 8.5% times 90,000. Okay, so at the end of year one, this is how much money he has, right, with that interest. Okay, that's important. So we see that he has more money at the end of year one than at the beginning of year one. That's important because he's earning interest, right? So if this number was not bigger than 90,000, we have done something wrong, okay? Then in year two, the beginning of year two, right? That's how much money he has, right? We've just calculated that. Then he's gonna earn 8% on that amount. Also helps if I write that correctly. Okay, so he's going to, this is how much he has, and he's going to earn 8% on that. Okay, so we put that into our calculator. Okay, so he is going to have this much money at the end of the two year period. Okay. So basically what I've done is I've, I've worked it out nicely for you here, basically step by step. Another way you can work this out, and don't let this confuse you, okay, is there's a little formula which says the amount that we want at the end of the two years, right? I'm calling that A, right? So A is the basically amount at end of two years, right? P is the amount invested. So basically that was the amount that he put in originally, right? Which would be the 90,000. I is the interest rate. Okay. Which was 8.5% up there. And then we have N, which basically says it's the number of years. So what you can do is you can just use this little formula, right? Now you might be saying, oh, okay, Margie, I'm not going to use this formula. I don't know what that means. But basically what this is saying, right, is it's saying the amount that I earn at the end of two years is equal to the amount I put in plus interest 
calculated over a certain amount of years. And because this number is an exponent, right? Exponent means that it's at the top here. It actually accounts for the interest on interest. So let's just check that we got the same answer, right? If we do it this way as, if, as the way we did it up above, okay? So if I put this into my calculator, ta-da, same answer, right? So if you find this confusing, do not use it. I'm just giving you options, right? But either way, it's the same answer and that is how much he has. But we haven't finished actually answering the question, right? The question says, um, does he have enough, right, to pay for his license? So we saw in the previous question, right, that he needed this much, 103234, okay? And he has 105950. So conclusion, yes, he, sorry, I'm writing so so hard here. I'm making this, this whole desk shake. Yes, he can afford license. Okay. And that is the end of that question. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to move on to 3.3. .3.